So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spit in my face! Our video today takes us to Littleton, Colorado, where we find Denver Metro Audits and his good pal Donut Hole Audits out for a leisurely stroll and audit of the post office. Now, Donut Hole runs into a guy who's quite upset that they're filming and harassing a veteran inside the post office and takes exception to it. Ah, he allegedly assaults Donut Hole with the post office door. Enjoy. See if we can get this guy's attention. Hey, sir. Uh, we need to talk to that uh, manager Excuse again. Me. Could you get her for us, please? No. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, look at this guy. Well, weird. <laughs> we'll be getting his name. That was totally rude. The guy even has a, uh, a veteran. He's a veteran too. He has a veteran hat on. Yes, idiot. He has a veteran's hat on. Unlike you, he did something good for our country. You want to tear it down with your nonsense, your fake First Amendment right nonsense. Okay, thank you. Hey, uh, we need to talk to that uh, manager, the supervisor again. Okay. And then uh, we also need to get the gentleman, uh, the black gentleman that you have working here, who's totally rude to us. So we need to get his name so we can uh, file a complaint on him. But if you just get the supervisor, that'd be fine. We just had another question for her. Thank you. A few moments later. So we I think we figured it out. Um, but before we ask the question, we just want to um, let you know that the black gentleman that works here that has the military, the veteran hat on, he came out here and we asked him if he could grab you because we have a question for you. And he said no and then just shut the door on our face. I'm thinking that when this punk was in grade school, he was the school tattletale. Yeah, he would run to the teacher and tell on everybody. And then after school, all the kids would gang up on him and smack him around. Ah, that's why he's a moron today. So well, you might want to address that. Him. Yeah, that's not acceptable. It was, We're it just was, members of the public. The, the black gentleman it? that you have okay. working here, the older guy with the veteran's hat. Why don't you respect the veteran? And you can throw me on camera all day long, dude. Actually, the veterans uh, fought for our right to do what we're doing here. This is a First Amendment protected activity, <laughs> sir. Look at this guy. So we'll just keep the camera on him for now. More on this guy in just a few minutes. But first, our frauditor has to babble to the poor postal clerk for about five minutes. We're going to edit that part out, of course. A few minutes later. So we got this guy right here who hates freedom, obviously. Tells us to respect the veterans, but he, he hates the fact that we have the First Amendment to record. People don't like to have a camera shoved in their face, dude. I'm not shoving any cameras in anyone's face. What would you like dude? to call it? Oh, call this guy. Us, dude. No, no, you just did the same thing to me, dude. I know, we never went to, into your what, face, what bro. What would you just do? We're so look how close this guy is to us now. To Who's close to He's, who? You're the one initiating the conflict, Who's sir. Who's close to who? You, you walked right up to us. You know, I, I, do, I do have some connections. So. Yeah, go ahead. Call, call the FBI, man, if you want. This frauditor and his buddy are really cocky, and they have a smart mouth. Oh, it's only a matter of time until they get the wrong one, and then it's going to be lights out. Dude, th th this is how you get off? This is not, this is not me getting no, off, bro. No, 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 this is, this is, this is why don't not, you get a life, man? Why don't you get a life, man? I have I a, have I'm a an American, good... I'm a free American. I have a right to do well, this. Well, then act like one. I am acting like one. I'm exercising my First Amendment <laughs> right. Look at this guy, he's gonna get a thumbnail, yeah. man. Come on, dude. Look at this idiot. Yeah. He's assaulting us. Yeah. Come on, bro. Touch. Oh, you betcha. That was right in your 
face fraudier. What do you think about those apples? You do that. Go ahead. Touch me. Get out of my face, man. Touch me. You don't intimidate me that one bit. You don't intimidate me either, man. You guys are encouraging you me. You slammed that door on my leg, dude. You know, we don't need stress at this time. The, of the uh, this guy needs to chill out. He's the one acting violent. Yeah. We're acting peaceful. I, I, I plenty of people just said they don't think so. Well, why don't you call your connections then? The frauditor is not helping things. As a matter of fact, he's trying to escalate the problem. Oh, these frauditors, they be so annoying. But that's what they do best. They know how to provoke a reaction. And this is always good for clicks and views on their pitiful YouTube channel. Now, some of them make a pretty good book, but not all of them. Now, this guy, he's in the middle somewhere. He has potential, but we have to shut him down before he gets started. No, it's not. Go ahead and call your connections, man. Are they gonna stop us from recording in public? Nope. Okay. So this guy wants to slam doors in people's faces. He's he talks about us putting cameras in people's faces, even though he you're got right in our right face. Now, man. He got right in our face. You're, you're doing he slammed it right a now. door on me. Here's another grown man. Don't touch me. You slammed the door in my face. So what? Deal with it. You're a man. Grow up. Are you going to need your mommy and a safe space later? Oh, and some chocolate chip cookies. Don't forget. Do it right now. I shut the door behind me. You slammed, you slammed it, it, bro. I have it on I camera. Shut the door behind me. Dude, you I got slammed it. You got it on camera. Good. What's wrong with you, dude? Nothing. Yeah, there's something wrong with you. That's for sure. Guy hates freedom, guys. He hates the fact that no, we have no, a first like amendment. Treat that veteran in there. I, I treat him. Dude, uh, he did not want a camera in his face. Just like he's a public employee. Right he's a public employee, and he's in public, yeah, sir. This is what happens when crazy meets insane. Everybody's demented, and nobody knows the meaning of normal. Carry on. Matter, man. Yes, it does it's matter. Pretty disrespectful. It's dis and what you did was disrespectful, getting but, in our faces, slamming the no, door you got on my us. Face, man. I you never got in your that, face. Bullshit, man. I'm in there just making my own. Yeah, you're making a fool of yourself in yeah, there is what yeah, you're doing. Man. You're gonna be a star now. Yeah, you're really lucky that there's a camera right there. Take oh, that for what it's Look at that's a threat, he's threatening us. We're yeah. lucky there's a camera. You take that however you want, man. Yeah, okay. Just keep digging yourself deeper, bud. Just making yourself look even more stupid. Frauditor, we've all seen you. You weigh about a buck forty soaking wet. Nobody's worried about you, and nobody has to make threats to you. A strong wind would blow you down the street. I don't know why he's still here. Why don't you just leave? Why are you staying here? We're obviously doing a story on the post office. He wants to just hang out here so he can talk to us more. I don't want you following me just like you Go followed ahead. me out. Well, anywhere. we're not going to follow you. You can walk away. No. You follow me just like you're doing right now. I'm not following you anywhere. You're more than welcome to walk away. We won't follow you at all. Bye. You're dismissed. I always have to chuckle when frauditors say, You're dismissed usually as someone is walking away. You can never say that to their face because you're a coward and a punk. What would you call that? That's following me. <laughs> well, we yeah, haven't moved. With a camera, dude. Yeah, well, this guy's an idiot. What a clown. This guy's a straight clown, Hi, man. Mom. Yeah, please let me know. Now, now he's coming back. Cool. Look, his pride and ego's in the way. He can't leave. <laughs> Yeah, you're dismissed, buddy. Walk of shame right there, pal. Look, Frauditor, I'm betting that man has a decent job, whereas you're an uneducated, unemployed, blubbering buffoon Frauditor who makes what little money you have on YouTube grifting people. Oh, we actually we weren't interviewing him. He uh he like assaulted us and shut the door on us and smashed oh, at, my friend's knee. At and, the post office? Yeah, just in here, that guy. 
we were just recording in the post office. We have a, a legal right to do that. It's a public space, so. Was he a government official? No, I think he's just a, a citizen. Huh. So. He just didn't like re us recording in there, so. The and what, what were you recording? Well, we were, we're docking, we're doing a story in the post office. Oh. So that's all. They're in violation of the, the Americans with Disabilities Act right now. Well, there you have it, folks. The Frauditor tells his sad story to everyone and anyone who will listen. <laughs> oh, his friend was assaulted by the madman. Now these two idiots go back inside the post office and they spend almost another 20 minutes trying to find out that gentleman's name who closed the door on them. But they don't get the name because apparently he's not a postal clerk. He just cleans up the offices around there. Ah, so they walk away and they're upset. They don't have a name. They can't file a complaint. If you enjoy watching idiots imbeciles and morons on my channel please subscribe as always thanks so much for stopping by cheers to that